So if you need another reason why not to follow one of these false teachers, one of these men who have no clue as to what sound doctrine is, but are always looking for a gimmick to use, here you go. Changing something and you don't see it clearly yet, but you hit. <laughs> And this is where most people would not face Jesus anymore. What most people would do is turn away. <coughs> what, what I'm telling you what I'm telling you is just as he's physically standing here, knowing what's coming. God's saying, can you physically and spiritually and emotionally be able to stand? When getting the vision or receiving it might get nasty. I'm going to say it in a point just like that. Receiving vision from God might get nasty. You mean, God, I just bought, in crazy faith, I just bought my dream car. And now you're going to ask me to sell it back and ride in the hoopty again? Yeah, because the vision I'm about to give you, it might get nasty. And do you, do you hear and see the responses of the people? What, what, what I'm telling you is how you just reacted is how the people in your life will react when God is doing what it takes for the miracle. What are you saying? This man was blind and what he was trying to do with this man is give him his DNA. So I'm sitting here enjoying one of my favorite pastimes, watching the Dallas Cowboys crumble yet again, feeling pretty good. And I see something that just further verifies why you should not follow people like Michael Todd. Usually when he is engaged in these sort of shenanigans, these sort of goofy little gimmicks, no one can really be hurt. But let's remember now, we are still in the middle of a pandemic and yeah, this strain is not as deadly, it seems to be not as deadly, but it still is a pandemic nonetheless. And the two things that come to mind, first of all, who is this guy that would let another man put spit, rub it over his face, all over his face, pandemic or not, what man does that? That's the first thing I thought of. But then as you listen to him mangle the scriptures, one, you don't need to do, you don't need visual aids like this an actual demonstration to do this. You really don't to, to try to drive your point home. But then the point that you drive that you drove home was even a, was a faulty analogy. And he took the blind man by the hand and led him out the village. And when he had spit on his eyes, he laid his hands on him and asked him, do you see anything? He looked up and said, I see people, but they look like trees walking. Then Jesus laid his hands on his eyes again, and he opened his eyes, and his sight was restored. And he saw everything clearly. And he sent him to his home saying, do not even enter the village. So what Michael Todd says is that Jesus was literally giving this man his DNA, trying to give him the DNA of Jesus. Is that what you get from this? Is that Are we to take that this man received Jesus' DNA, that he became what, like Jesus? Uh, that he became, well, we know that wasn't the case. And so what he's trying to build on is one, a faulty understanding of the scriptures, which that's a given. That's what Michael Todd does. But then to use his own spit, his own saliva, whatever his germs contain to make. Yeah, that's why you don't follow false teachers.